Diego State University and I am going to show you a quick and easy way um, not using complicated statistical programs to analyze data that you might get from a survey that you have out in the field. So with any survey, of course, um, even if you're not going to use a really um, heavy lifting stat analysis program like SPSS, of course, you're going to make sure that your measures are measuring the, the complex abstract concepts that you're looking at um, reliably and accurately. And so by relying on the tried and true measures for these different concepts, then you're building in um, a level of confidence that whatever questions you're asking are really getting at understanding what the concept is all about. So I have here um, a practitioner focused survey um, for a uh, volunteer running group and they're interested in the um, word of mouth. And so these questions right here, I'm likely to say positive things, I'm likely to recommend, I'm likely to say positive things in general, um, and I am likely to encourage friends and relatives to participate are all from a um, tried and true word of mouth um, scale. And so that I, I see that um, first off, all of these are written in the same direction where if I strongly agree with it, then I have positive word of mouth. Um, so that's the first thing to remember is that when you look over these questions, um, have any of them been written in the negative? So while we have a positive, 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 is the last one say, I'm not likely to encourage friends. Now, if it did say that, we would have to reverse code it, but we don't have any of that problem in this particular data set. Everything is running in the same direction, and um, I can see that it's on this five-point scale here. Um, so I'm going to analyze this uh, just in Google Sheets because we've been using Google Sheets a lot in our class. And so um, as I come up to the top, I'm going to go into data analysis, and I'm going to export the data. And um, normally I would export it into SPSS, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, I am going to export it um, into a um, CSV. Um, let's see, I can either use the numeric values, so that would be um, one, two, three, four, five, or I can use the choice text, which would be strongly disagree, disagree, neutral, etc. I'm going to be running means and standard deviations, and I'm going to create an index from this, um, which are which are some um, mathematical procedures in here. So I am going to use numerical values for this, um, just so that I can work a little bit smarter here. So I'm going to download this. Oh, I can download it to Google Drive. Um, I've never done this before. So let's let's see how this one works. I'll download it to Google Drive. I'm going to do um, download numeric values and then export. And it wants to know which of my Google Drives I want. And I'm going to allow it. And it's going to start thinking here. Now, as I'm doing this, um, I have already identified the overall um, questions that I'm going to be focusing on. Um, you would probably print up your survey and you would have um, some sort of a master document where you could look at all of these items. Um, okay, so I'm going to scroll all the way to... Okay, so this one, these Q14s, you can see it says Q14 underscore 3, Q14 underscore 4, I'm likely to encourage friends and relatives, um, I'm likely to say positive things, I'm likely to recommend, and I'm likely to say positive things to other people. All of these Q14 items are ones that are um, dealing with the word of mouth scale uh, that I have. And so I'm going to basically um, tell, I'm going to add up for, let's just say, this person right here. Um, let's go to the end. This is the last question in the word of mouth one. Um, and it's hard to see on my screen just because this is such a, a long um, 
column with here, but this person gave a four. And so essentially I want to know what his word of mouth is, right? And so it's a four that I can see here is what the person gave. So they agreed with the statement. Um, one question over, they also gave a four for question number three. So that's eight. Uh, for question number two, they also gave a four. All right. Um, so now I'm up to 12. Um, and then uh, for question number one, they gave a five. And so I'm up to 17. Um, and so if I wanted to know um, 17 divided by four, um, on average, these people have a four, this person has a 4.25 um, score with regard to word of mouth, which means that there's pretty high word of mouth here, right? Um, but I don't want to have to go and do this individually for my hundred plus people that I have in this data set. And so I'm going to create that um, bigger consolidated word of mouth score, a single score, rather than four different individual variables. I'm going to create that single score um, as an index. And in SPSS, it would be a summative index. We would also run a reliability on it. Um, but for the purposes of this, we're just going to sum up those um, particular variables. It's going to be um, Q14 underscore 1, Q14 underscore 2, Q14 underscore 3, and Q14 underscore 4. Um, so I am, just uh, to make uh, this easy, I'm going to do all of my new variables in a brand new sheet. Um, so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to find where the Q14 start. Um, all right, so I have 14, 1, 2, 3, 4. And... Um, these are columns A, S through, or I'm sorry, starting at the beginning, I guess is probably easier. This is column A, P, A, Q, A, R through A, S, A, P through A, S. All right, so I'm going to add in a new sheet and I'm going to look to see what, what line my data starts on. My data starts on line number three. These are my people. Starts on line number three. And so I'm going to go equals. <coughs> and I'll just do the average because that's actually what I'm looking at. The average of, what did I say? Um, AP through AS. And that was for line number three. And, oh, I didn't do it right because I didn't tell it where, um, that I wanted it to go on a different uh, sheet. So I do average, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to find my 14s so it's this one through this one and then that's what I want and that's coming to an average of four. Oh, that's right because originally um, let's do the next guy if I were to pull this down, it'll do all the other people um, after it. And if it is rounding it up, but I don't necessarily want it to, I can add in the decimal places. And I want to go to two decimal places on here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and insert 
one line above, and I'm gonna call this my word of mouth index. And then I'm gonna pull this line down so that I know um, what is going on with this particular column. And so this is how I would create, and I would do it all the way through, to have for all of my 100 plus people, um, I would continue on and it would populate that word of mouth score. Um, so there's obviously a couple of lines in here where there's, there's problematic data, more than likely there's nothing filled out um, for line 151, for line um, 36, et cetera. So this would be the number that I would probably use as my pretest to say what the word of mouth was. Um, if off on the side in scratch paper, um, I wanted to do overall pre-campaign word of mouth, then I would do again the average and I would do of the entire range of data. I would of course make sure I had all of the range of data in here. I don't have all the range of data in here at the moment, um, so I'll just stop there. But I would do the entire range of data and I would see that overall word of mouth is pretty high. So that is how I would analyze my data. Um, it is important that if you do have some sort of a scale on your survey, that you don't just treat those individual items, these individual variables, as their own standalone item. It is important that you sum them up to create their own summative scale. So that is um, how you create the summative scale using a much less bulky program than SPSS. Happy researching.